Hello guys, it's La Stephanie back to do a video about my personal size retro bloom. Um, I actually got this as a birthday gift from my best friend Marceline. I'm absolutely loving this thing. It's pretty much going to be like my catch-all to have everything. Um, so I have some tabs up here as well, but I'm just going to show you what I have in here, how I'm using it. I'm just going to show you pretty much the setup. Um, so let me just dive in. So when you open this thing up, just have to train it a little bit. It's a little, all my planners are so stuff. But um, in here I have the, um, just some stickers I added just to add some color. I was going to make this a paper clip, but I had an issue with it, so... I just pretty much glued it here and I had a pin mark up here so I added two two stickers. Um, here I have a fly leaf I got from my paper shop. I believe it's called my paper shop. Um, it was conflicting with the retro blooms paper in the front. So I pretty much just flipped the paper around. It had the hole punched there so I just punched the holes here and I put it in here. So this turns like that. It's really cute. The little honeycomb. And here's the Filofax Retro Bloom um, page. So I just pretty much just added some papers I got from Walmart in here. Um, just to pretty much welcome to my Retro Bloom. Um, originally I left the calendar in here. It came with the 2004, 2014 um, week on two pages. But it was too bulky and I wasn't using it. And I've had this since my birthday back in June. And we're pretty much almost entering August. So I was like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it so I took out the calendar and I'm just gonna use it as pretty much my A to Z filing cabinet and some other little catch-all stuff so I have welcome to my retro bloom just some papers I punched and put in here and cut them down um, hello 2014 and then just some extra paper so this was like I said the week on two pages um, in the back I just I'm, I'm always going to get some Chinese you know not as much but sometimes I do and I like to save the quotes that come with this particular that come with the um, page but here I actually have the Filofax calendar um, the week on two pages diary and I pretty much just added some stickers to cover the month I got these stickers from I think I got these stickers from from when Dixie, I'm not. I can't remember where I got them from. No, I got them from Walmart. I'm sorry. And I just put it over here. So soon we'll be done with July, and then we'll be in a new month in August. So I have that here. Sorry, sorry. This is just personal information, and that's my um, registration number. But um, I actually made this divider pretty much like a divider or like a little folder. Um, I just cut it, just fold it in half, cut it down, and I just opened it up. So when you open it up, it has like a little pocket and I just glued it down here and I stapled it at the bottom because the glue wasn't holding it. In here, I just have um, just like some extra stickers, um, a little note card that came with um, the note card I got from my Kitty Qualia papers, Qualia papers, I think I'm saying it wrong, but um, that came here extra, and then I just have like some extra stickers, um, some other stickers, I love my ladybugs, and then I have my, when I was brainstorming my little paper about my A to Z, um, my A to Z to-do list, so that's there, that's, go that's usually in here, so let me put this back in here. Um, yeah, I just keep this in here and it fits in perfectly, so I just keep it in here. Uh -oh. Um, and then here I have some extra stickers, so I have just some stickers. I didn't have to punch the hole in these, they already came with the holes, and I like these stickers. These I punched a hole in. I love these animal stickers, if you can see them. I love these animal stickers, and then just some more stickers as well. Um, also, just to show you, I'm using a Hello Kitty pen, it's just a regular black pen I'm using. Um, I got them from Staples. It was like a five pack, five, six pack. So I'm just going to use these stick, these, this pen for now. Um, here is my year at a glance. I just added an owl sticker. I cut out this particular divider myself. Um, no, I didn't cut it out. This is actually a Project Life card. I'm sorry. This is a Project Life because I cut out a lot of things in here and made did a lot of, you know, 
do-it-myself type dividers and folders and things so I um, actually just added some paper clips on here and then here is my pull-out calendar um, just using a paper clip I got from Michaels and um, I pretty much just um, did the full year so what I did was for like the first I have like a number one sticker here for down here um, I think this is for Labor Day um, this is for I think this is when fall begins um, so I just have some stickers here Halloween um, Christmas you know things of that nature so this is my year at a glance calendar and I just reinforced it with some washi tape because it's just a regular sheet of paper and um, that's about it so here is another project life card divider um, just a painting that I did I had a lot of those four by four pictures so I made sure I saved them and added some of them to this particular planner as well um, these dividers I actually made myself so I cut them out um, punch holes in them and then I had them laminated. I don't have my own laminating machine so I actually had them laminated at Office, Office Depot and they actually did a pretty good job so I actually like it and I had to do, um, I had to actually paste the papers back in front. But um, pretty much this is where my monthly starts and I, because I got this in June I decided not to put the print out the entire year which didn't make any sense. So I just did July through December so this month's forecast is beautiful. I have the July photo a day in here. I don't usually write notes because I notice I don't usually use the full month but I was marking off the months with stickers and today is the today's actually the 27th so I have like a full week I need to fill in um, but yeah that's pretty much it and I just printed these out from Filofaxi so I have August up until December in here so I'll be using those but um, like I said I pretty much cut these out myself um, cut these out myself and I just added a little quote on the back um, here is my boyfriend my best friend my lover my babe I just tape down the back and you know this is our anniversary when we first actually first met I just have some extra papers in here um, just some extra papers when I start to write things and then this is my hello card which actually starts should start my week on two pages but I got rid of it so I figure next year I'll get another printout for a week on two pages and put it in here but this is the note that I got from um, Jess from with my kitty qualia papers so I have those papers in here I love those papers so here's another divider that I actually made I just added some note card papers in here just kind of like a brain dump so I have a few of those in here um, and then this is where the weekend the weeks get started but like I said I got rid of the week so this file of facts did come with the ruler divider um, like I said I'm not using the week on two pages so I'm not really using that divider it's just going to be here but I'm definitely going to use it for next year I just didn't want to throw away these papers because I actually like taped these papers to the back of the week so I just wanted to keep it in here because I thought they were pretty so that's fine they're not taking up much that much space um, here's my next divider um, titled projects so I have a tab on the top and a tab on the side um, and there's a little quote on the back but this is where I'm going to pretty much dump my project ideas things that I want to do I'm really into scrapbooking so I'm going to have a lot of um, projects that I'm going to put on here and I already have like some blog ideas you can pretty much check that one off detail planner of my retro bloom and my A to Z index and I actually have a Safiano and raspberry which I'm probably going to start using next year so you guys will see a video about that in January um, and then just some extra paper for projects. Um, my next tab is party. So these are, you know, if I want to do some parties, um, just finished a party for my grandma. Um, and I just put a project life card in here. So I'm going to um, pretty much put like the sorry the project that the party that I'm going to do so like my grandma's birthday I want to do a fab lady bug dinner I want to do a cocktail party I was just talking to a friend of mine who is a party planner um, and she was saying that I should possibly do a brunch for my book club so that's an idea and I'm just going to put like once I have the to do's because I just the party for my grandma which was 
in July it was already finished but I had that planned out detailed list in my planner that I'm using my Fab Ladybug Metropol A5 so I figure when I start to think of another party then I just put everything in here as far as menu and guest list I have everything in here so I have some papers for that um, I made a divider for my contacts which um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use this yet I'm not sure if I want to put the ladybugs in here because only a few pages um, or if I just want to actually put like family members so that's something I have to think about I haven't filled it in yet this next section and I have one of the I don't know how to pronounce it Rakuma I'm not sure I'm not I don't want to say it wrong but I have one of the paper clips and I actually have um, two of the paper clips I have this one and I have a brown one that's in my A5 but um, I just use it to tab off this particular section which is my A to Z section um, and this section is like pretty much like the most important section I wasn't just to show you I wasn't able to I didn't this planner didn't come with the A to Z tab so I had to pretty much make my own um, off of something else that I had I can't remember what else I had I think I just used freehand and I used stickers so instead of using like A to Z I just used stickers and I'll just have to flip through them but I put the actual sticker on the divider um I got all of those dividers laminated so that's what makes the planner a little bulky um but I like it that way it keeps the pages secure and I'll be flipping through it like all the time so I think it'll be perfect so just to start off I have my A to Z um, index and I actually have the index A to Z so um, this is pretty much just showing like what I have for A, what I have for B and all the way down the line so I'm still you know missing a few like I'm missing A, H and I and K so I can't really think of anything for those but for the rest I do have stuff in here and these stickers are the ones I got from Target I just added them in there and I've been using my stabler, stabler? pins for this particular planner and I think that they're coming out really good so just to start off and I'm just going to go through what I have in each section so this is my A to A and B section um, here I have birthdays so I'm going to put the birthdays in here I pretty much this is pretty much going to be blank I haven't filled in anything yet so I'm going to put the birthdays in here like the main birthday so like mostly family and really close friends then I have beach books to read um, I found something on Pinterest that books I can read during the summer granted the summer is almost over but um I think one of the books I read on the list is like a list of maybe 20 books probably less than that so I'm going to put those there. Then I already have a list of books to read, so I'm just going to add that, transfer that list over here. And for the titles, I just used um, the masking tape. Just use the masking tape, and then I just have my stickers. So these are still the stickers from my emoji pack. I still have some stickers left over, and then these stickers I just got from Walmart. So I was just using those stickers. I love, 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 love stickers. Um, this is my bucket list. So I'm going to put um, pretty much just transfer my bucket list here. And these are just some ideas. So if you guys want to use them as well. Um, this is C and D. Another divider. Um, these are career books to read. So I'm definitely like you know trying to find new employment try to find a way to build my book club build a brand and I think this could definitely help me as far as this section would definitely help me with my what I want to do so I have a list of career books I want to read um, I also have my Christmas card list in here and my Christmas gift list so I'm gonna start this pretty early so I can decide as far as you know who I'm gonna send a Christmas card to and then who I'm gonna get a gift for and what I should get them I have doctor visits in here which I'm going to track um, I haven't been to the doctor as much as I was early in the year which is good so this you know it's only probably like a few visits that I'm going to put on here but I'm going to put them in here pretty much the visit when did I go what doctor did I go to and what happened at that appointment so here is my E and F section and in E and F, I have my employment history. I actually have something like that in my Metropol. So I'm just going to transfer it here. It's going to have the name of the company I work for, the telephone number, the address, and um, 
Telephone number, address, and there was something else I was missing. I think that was it. Telephone number and address. Because I pretty much need that information when I'm filling out job applications. And um, here I'm going to put a list of all of my SC polishes. So that's going to be pretty much front and back. And these papers came with the file of facts. So the colorful papers you see are the Kitty Qualia papers. I love these papers. They're like a, a thick quality. Um, so yeah, they're much different from the file of facts papers. So I'm going to put my SC polish polishes here because I have like maybe over 50 SC polishes so I'm just going to fit them in here um, so I make sure I can wear all the colors because that's some colors I haven't put on my fingers and this is going to be a section for a page for my fab ladybug book club and this is going to be just ideas I'm going to put out here of things that we could do um, pretty much I have a list of all this stuff I just haven't written it down so that's what I have to do but um, we pretty much have the rest of the year to get things popping so I'm going to put that here. I have my G and H section which has my goals. I just used, I um, actually bought this from someone on um, Etsy because um, I never had a chance to get the target flag so I just put the goals here and used some masking stickers to set off my goals and I'll fill those in. Um, I have a page for gift ideas just in general, birthdays and just if I'm thinking about someone I can get them a gift. So I'm going to put those here. And then I have my Goodreads 100 Best Books Ever Written. I'm like a book freak. So I'm going to put those books in here. And I left two pages for that because it's 100 books. So it's going to be a lot. And I might have to add more paper. Um, yeah, I might have to add more paper. Um, I and J. Yeah, I and J. Um, it's for Junior, my boyfriend. So I'm going to have like a section in here. You know, just probably things that we can do together. Things I may want to get him. Things I want to tell him. Um, just, just random stuff. Um, and we'll see. Because I have plans of what I want to do for him. Um, his birthday is coming up in October. And then I just have a, a, a separate sheet of paper. Just for if I think of something else for I or J. K and L. I have um, a letter a day a letter a day or a letter a week project pretty much I'm gonna probably gonna do a letter a week project because I'm so busy with a lot of other things going on so um, I just started pen paling I completed two letters out of five so I'm hoping tonight because I'm gonna be leaving after I do this video I'm hoping tonight I can actually go ahead and complete the um, the last three letters and I can mail those off tomorrow morning for the girls because they've been waiting for a while for these letters so I put a lot into them a lot of stuff added into them as well so I'm going to put that down there and then I have my loan a loan repayment page where I'm just going to put the lender the loan amount and the payment and every time I make a payment so I might change this and put like a set goal of what I want to pay and how I want to pay it I got to figure it out but I think this might work for the time being and then I have a car note my loans I do have my car note my student loan I have a credit card so very simple and then M and N I have makeup because I do have a list of makeup that I do want to purchase um, so I'm going to put that list here I have movies to see so I have a list of that as well then going on to OMP I have orders my which would pretty much be online orders so I'll put the date that I ordered it the product that I ordered um, how much I paid for it and if it was when it was delivered so I'm going to keep track of that but I haven't ordered anything online in a while so I won't have to worry about that for now I'm going to put my pen pals here like I said I only have five pen pals for now um, so I'm going to just put their information so I can keep track of who I'm sending my letters to um, I have places to visit and I already put one so that's Bermuda and I'll just pretty much add more places um, once I think of more places and then I just have an extra sheet of paper then I have Q&R Sorry, so this is my divider for Q&R. I have recipes to try. I'm not sure what happened to my paper here. It got wet. I don't know if something stuck to it, but that's fine. And recipes to try, and then I have room plans. So plans I want to do to my room. Um, I'm not sure how much this is going to come in handy, being that me and my boyfriend are making plans to possibly move in together. So I might not need this. Who knows? And then I have S&T, which are summer goals. Um, so I had have goals for the summer and it's probably pretty much just fall into the fall and things I want to do with my man so I'm going to add this in here and I already have a list so I left like two pages open for that 
Then I have U and V, which are my undecided choices. And, you know, when I saw this, I was like, what could I put under here? And I'm, I'm really battling myself about graduate school, and I'm battling myself about getting another tattoo. So just random things. So I'm just going to probably put some things on here that I can think of, like if I want to do it, if I don't want to do it. Then I got this idea from someone on Instagram of USA states to visit. I can actually check off a few. I just actually wrote the list in here, but I can actually check off a few because I've been to a few places. Like I live in Florida. I've been to Washington before. I've been to Georgia. So um, I can check those things off. And I have them all the way down to Wyoming. So I put that list in here already. And then I have vacation ideas. So just, you know, places to visit and vacation ideas can probably will intertwine with each other. But, you know, I have actually like vacation would be like if I can want to do something in Miami or just something in Florida and then um, places to visit would be like Jamaica where I've never been or Bermuda where I've never been places like that um, my next divider is W and X and this is where I'm going to put my website logins um, just so I can keep track of this information because I am developing logins for almost every other week so I'm going to put that information here and then I'm going to have my wish list here as well and last but not least I have Y and Z where I'm going to have my YouTube video ideas so this will probably be one on one with project ideas so this information will carry over from projects to here and then I have my zodiac signs just so I can keep track of all the different zodiacs and I put try to put stickers here that would you know specify that particular zodiac and these are the stickers from the emoji stickers so I just added some other stickers here as well um, this is the fly leaf that actually came with the file of facts this um, is on it I put these stickers here just because I thought it was cute and then um, it kind of got scratched up from the front from the actual let me show you from the this because this has super glue so the super glue came up and it actually started scratching here so I was like uh, I knew this was coming so I just pretty much just took this and just popped it in the back so nobody can really see it <laughs> and then in the back I have a thanks card that I got from Target this also came with um, another thing I had and then I just put some stickers back here so this is my planner oh, I'll put that in later